Hi everyone, it's Lisa Mears here, and today I'm sharing the Stamps of Life Club products for June of 2023. In this video, I'll show you all of the club items and my design process for the cards I made with these items. So this month's theme is a piece of cake, and when I think of cake, I usually think of birthday cards. And birthday cards are my favorite type of card to make and probably the type of card that I make the most of. So as you probably guessed, I was super excited to work with these products. So starting out, let's take a look at the Stamp and Die Hard Club set for June. And this set is called Piece of Cake to Stamp. So here's a look at the inspiration card. So if you need some help with some card ideas, there are some on that sheet. And here's a look at the 4x6 stamp set. So you get a large piece of cake. There's also some stamps for icing. There's also a candle and lots of sentiments. So some of the sentiments are happy birthday, you dessert the best, cake it to the limit, you cake me so happy, may all your wishes come true, you're the sweetest, let's celebrate, life is what you bake it, another happy birthday in a cursive font, and there's also a sentiment that says, my friend, and there's also a smaller happy birthday off to the left side of the cake. So if you're a member of the stamp club, you'll get the stamp set, and if you're a member of the die hard club, you'll receive both the stamp set and the coordinating dies. And this month, the Stamps of Life has a freebie. So you can see it says, we love our club members, we hope you love your freebie, and it is a stencil that will allow you to ink up the cake so you don't have to color it. So you can just use your inks to add color to that cake stamp. So now let's take a look at the June Card Kit Club, and this month's card kit is called Your Sweet. And here's a look at the inspiration card for the card kit. So there are some sample cards that you can make. And with every card kit, you get a two size envelopes. These are four and a quarter by five and a half inches. You also get a large plastic storage envelope, and this storage envelope is perfect for storing cardstock. You can also store your card kit contents in there. And then you always get eight and a half by 11 sheets of cardstock. So I'll go ahead and open this pack and let's take a look at the colors for this month. The first color here is a very bright blue. This is the pool color from the Stamps of Life. You get two sheets of the pool card stock. You also get a sheet of the Ginger Snap, which is the craft card stock. You get two sheets of the Lemonade card stock, which is the yellow. You also get two sheets of the Guava, which is a very bright pink. You get one sheet of strawberry, which is the red cardstock, and you get four sheets of the powdered sugar, which is the white cardstock. So that's the color palette for this month. And here's a look at the paper pad. So this paper pad is called Your Sweet Collection, and it starts out with this beautiful page of strawberries. You also have the cake slices and some candles there that you can die cut with the dies. If you're a member of the Die Hard Club, you'll have the dies to cut these out. Otherwise, if not, you can always use your scissors and fussy cut them. Now this sheet here has also some additional pieces that you can use on your cards, and it says here at the bottom that you can use the More for Cake set to die cut those. So the strawberry, the cherry, and the cookie topping, the dies to die cut those are an additional purchase, and that's the More for Cake set of dies. So the next sheet, you have a solid orange. There's also the Your Sweet Words. And then you have a sheet of cherries. And then a lot of the back side of the pattern paper, it has the squiggly lines, and you get those in several of the different colors that are in the paper pad. So you get it in the green, the pink, the red, the orange, the yellow, the light blue, and there's also a craft color that is in that squiggly line design. But you also get some polka dots and some scallop lines. There's also some cake slices and some more strawberries. You get two of each one of the designs that you saw in the paper pad. There's a sheet of some felt stickers. 
There's also a sheet of candle puffy stickers in two different sizes. And there are some epoxy dots. These are some pink epoxy dots with some polka dots on them. There are some more epoxy dots. These are some white, almost shaped, they're like flowers. And there's a stamp set. This is a smaller stamp set. It has some sentiments wishing you the happiest of days, big hugs and happy thoughts, Thank you for being so sweet. And there's some candles and strawberries. So as you can see by the sentiments, this card kit doesn't have to be just for birthdays. You can also use it for thank you cards and thinking of you cards as well. Now there is a set of matching dies that will cut out those stamps. And the dies are also included in the card kit. In addition, there's a word die and the word die is your sweet which is identical to the words here on the pattern paper. And you get the shadow layer and then the top layering piece. And last but not least is a ribbon in the color pool. So that is what the card kit entails for the month of June. But there's also one other club that the Stamps of Life has, which is the Fold It Club. And the Fold It Club consists of a die set that enables you to make a shaped card. And it also comes with some stencils that match the theme. And this month's Fold It Club is a sand dollar fold it. And I previously released a video showing how I made two cards with the Fold It Club set for June. I'll link that video at the top right corner of this video as well as in the description box below in case you're interested in watching it. And I will have links to all of the Stamps of Life clubs in the description box of this video and on my blog. So if you're interested in joining the club or even upgrading your membership, I always appreciate when you click on my links because it helps support me. And by using my link, you'll also get 500 bonus club points to spend in the Stamps of Life store. So let's go ahead and make some cards. Now with my first card, I knew right away that I wanted to try using that freebie stencil that was included with the Stampin' Die Hard Club set. So I started out by stamping the cake onto some white cardstock, and now I'm just gonna line my stencil up. There are several different parts to this stencil, so I'm gonna start by coloring up the frosting of the cake. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking some of my mint tape and I'm covering up the open areas of the stencil that are going over the other part of that stamped image because I don't want my ink to go over top of the other parts of the stamp. So the color that I'm using here is my picked raspberry ink. I knew I wanted right away to have a cake with pink frosting and this color will also match the colors that are in the paper pad. If you recall there was a hot pink color in the paper pad which was the guava color and this color matches perfectly to that. So after I ink up all of the frosting on that cake piece I'm going to remove the stencil as well as that tape and I'm going to align the next piece of the stencil and now I'm going to line up the little piece of frosting that that's in the center of the layers. So I'm just using my mint tape to cover up the other areas that are open on that stencil. And then I'll use the same picked raspberry ink to ink up the uh, frosting layer that's on the inside of the cake. When I'm finished with that, I'll remove it and then I'll just realign the stencils so that I can ink up the actual cake layers. And again, adding the mint tape all around. Now it's okay if I get ink outside of the stencil because I'm eventually gonna die cut this cake piece. So I don't need to worry about if ink gets on the white area of the cardstock. I just wanted to be sure that the ink wasn't getting on the actual stamped image. So that's why I have the mint tape all around. So the inside of the cake, I'm using Ground Espresso. This is a dark brown ink and I'm just inking that up with my ink blending tool. And then I'll go ahead and remove that and I'm ready to work on the plate. So I'll go ahead and line the stencil up with the plate and then add my mint tape one last time. And this time I'm going to use Squeeze Lemonade Distress Oxide Ink. This is a bright yellow. So I'll go ahead and ink up that entire plate 
And when I finish, I come in with a little bit of a darker yellow ink. This is the mustard seed. And I just put a little bit of mustard seed along the edges just to add a little bit more depth to that ink color. So there is my inked up cake. I just love that I didn't have to spend time coloring that cake and I can use the stencil to make it so much easier and faster. So I just used the die to die cut that out of the cardstock and then I took this die here on the left and die cut a piece of white cardstock. So that could be whipped cream or it could be some more frosting that you're going to add to the top of the cake. Just adding a little bit of a gray ink to the edges just for some more depth and I'm using the Hickory Smoke Distress Oxide ink. I'm also going to bring in this candle. This is a die cut shape from the paper pad. I chose to use the pink and yellow one. It just happened to match the same colors that I had colored my cake image and I actually did not plan that. I just got lucky and when I saw that candle image I was like, ooh, that matches perfectly. <laughs> So I'm going to take some double-sided adhesive tape and just add that candle behind that piece of whipped cream and I'll go ahead and remove the backing of the adhesive and then I'll add glue to the back of the die cut and I'll add it to the top of the cake. I also took this die and die cut a piece of white cardstock and just inking up the edges and then this piece of frosting or whipped cream is going to go on the plate right next to the cake. So I'll add it right there. And now I'm ready to put my card together. So I die cut two circles, one out of the guava cardstock and another circle out of the polka dot cardstock, and I layered those two pieces together. I also stamped a sentiment and I just cut it into a square shape, and I'm going to add the sentiment to the circle. So my sentiment for this card says, May all your wishes come true. And this sentiment was part of the piece of cake to stamp stamp set that was part of the stamp club. So I'll go ahead and add the sentiment and add my cake to the circle. I also have a piece of the guava pattern paper that I cut to four and an eighth by five and three eighths and a piece of the Your Sweet pattern paper that I cut to three and a quarter by five and I layered those together. I did put it a little bit off to the right side of the pink paper and then I added the circle right on top and then I'll add that entire layer to an A2 size white card base. So my card base measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches. So that will complete my first card. So moving on to my next card, I have a piece of the red cardstock that I cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I'm going to add the strawberry pattern paper at the top and I'll add the red swirly lined pattern paper at the bottom. So I cut the red pattern to two by five and three eighths and the strawberry pattern to two and a half by five and three eighths. And after I add those to the solid red cardstock, I added a piece of polka dot paper to the middle. The polka dot paper is one half inch by five and three eighths. I used a piece of the mint chip cardstock from my stash and die cut an oval shape and I'll add that to the center of the card and then I will add one of the cake pieces to the center of the oval and I'll also add the strawberry topping. I chose the strawberry topping because it matches the strawberry pattern paper. I'll also add some more of the whipped cream on the side of the cake. This time I just die cut it out of white cardstock once again. And then I stamped out a sentiment that says thank you for being so sweet. I stamped it in red ink and die cut it with a circle die and I also added some of the red ink along the edge of the circle. And I put some double sided adhesive foam on the back so it's popped up on the card. Next, I added that layer to an A2 size white card base. So my card base once again measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And all of the cards that I make in this video today will be A2 in size, four and a quarter by five and a half inches. So that will complete this card. Moving on to my next card, I also am using one of the die cut shapes from the paper pad and I'm adding the whipped cream with the cherry on top of the cake. 
chose to use the cherry because I'm going to be using the cherry pattern paper. So I'm adding the cake image to a stitched rectangle die cut piece. I cut that out of white cardstock. And then the cherry pattern paper, it measures five and three eighths by four and an eighth. And then I cut down this red striped pattern paper to one and three quarters by four and an eighth. So I added that down the right side of the card. And then I added one of those felt strips just along the edge. I'm going to add some double-sided adhesive foam to the back of my large rectangle as well as to the back of the sentiment. So these items are popped up on my card. And I chose to pop up these two items because the felt is a little bit raised. So by adding some dimension to these two pieces, it's going to also add some height to the card. So I'll go ahead and remove the double-sided adhesive backing from the foam and then I'll add the cake piece to the card as well as the sentiment. I wanted to bring some more color to my cake so I cut out the three drops of the frosting in some red cardstock and added it to the cake. I added that layer to a piece of red cardstock that's cut to four and a quarter by five and a half inches and then I'll add that to an A2 size white card base. I'm going to bring in some of my scrapbook.com pops of color. This is the Rudolph red color. I'm just going to add a few drops of red on the white cardstock just to add some more color. And that will complete my card. For my next card, I cut a piece of vellum to 1 and 7 eighths by 4 and an eighth. And I'm adding the Your Sweet Sentiment to the right side of that piece of vellum. So I die cut the shadow from that word die out of red cardstock and I just added the shadow. And then next I'm gonna go in and add the yellow pieces for the letters of the words. So I'll set that aside and I'll go ahead and color up some of my strawberry stamps. These stamps are part of the mini stamp set that came with the card kit. So I stamped them out onto some Bristol Smooth cardstock with my Versamark Onyx Black ink. And I'm just coloring these up with my Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens. I added the deep red color right below the stem of the strawberry and then I added the red color and then I used the blender to blend those colors out towards the bottom left side of the strawberry. So it goes from dark at the top and then a mid-tone color and then the very lightest color which is from the blender. So I'm only using two colors and the blender here. You can also use a water brush to blend those colors out but I love using the Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens because they just make for such easy coloring. By just using a few markers, you can get a really nice blend of your colors. So for the stem, I'm using the light green and the blender. So I'm just using one color and then blending that out. I colored three strawberries, but I'm only gonna use two on my card. So I'm going to add them to the vellum to the left of the sentiment. And then I'm gonna add that vellum to the piece of pattern paper that you see there. When adding the vellum, make sure you only put glue on the back of the vellum where the die cuts are, because if you put glue all over the whole thing, that glue will show through that vellum. And by just putting it underneath those die cuts, you won't be able to see the glue show through. So I added that to a piece of the cake pattern paper that I cut to four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And I cut two thin strips of the yellow solid cardstock. Those measure approximately one eighth inch and they're gonna be the width of that cake pattern paper which is four and an eighth inches. So I'll add one strip at the top of the vellum and one strip at the bottom of the vellum so it's just covering up the edge of the vellum. And then I'll add that piece to a solid piece of the red cardstock. And that red cardstock measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And then I'll add that to an A2 size white card base. And that will complete my card. So for my next card, I have a piece of white cardstock. I cut it to three and three quarter inches by five and a half. 
and I have it here in my Misty. I'm going to include a piece of cake, but I also want to put these candle stickers on top. So I was just measuring to see the distance I needed to put the cake as well as the stamp. So I'm using two different stamps. I'm using a larger stamp from the mini stamp set from the card kit that says wishing you the happiest of days. And I'm also going to be using a smaller stamp set that says happy birthday and that's from the stamp club set piece of cake to stamp. So I'm just lining up those stamps making sure I have enough room there on that white piece of cardstock for everything that I want. And then once I figured out the distance, I'll go ahead and remove the die cuts and just leave the stamps and then just stamp down those stamps with some black ink right onto that white cardstock. So now I'll go ahead and add the cake to my card. Now I knew I wanted my color scheme to be that guava pink color that you see on the frosting on the cake. And I also wanted to make my color scheme the pool color, which is that bright blue. So I'm taking all of the candles that are the blue and pink and I'm adding them to the top of the cake, I'm just using the candle puffy stickers. You could also use the candle stamp. So if you wanted to stamp out the candles and color them up, you can do that as well. So I'll add four to the top of the cake. And then I'm going to add some frosting here that I die cut out of some guava cardstock. So there's some more pink. And then for my pattern paper, I'm using the pool color pattern paper and I cut that to four and a quarter by five and a half inches and I'm going to add the white cardstock right on top. So just a little bit of that blue pattern paper will be peeking out on the left and right side of the white cardstock. And then I'm going to add this to an A2 size white card base. Just love the simplicity of this card. This card was so easy to make. I just left my stamp in the stamp positioner and I cut another piece of white cardstock and I stamped out the sentiment again and then quickly created another card just like this using the rainbow colored pattern paper with the scalloped lines. So that will complete all of my cards using the Stamps of Life June 2023 Club products. I would love for you to leave me a comment and let me know which card is your favorite. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like watching videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that subscribe button and turning on your bell notifications so that you'll be notified when I release new videos. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great day. Bye-bye.